Hi guys, welcome to Office Bloke's Reacts. I'm Office Bloke Dave. I'm Office Bloke Mike. I'm Office Bloke Daz. And collectively, time doesn't exist, so we can make this intro as long as we want. Correct. Really? Should we go for a record? <laughs> We've done about four minutes before, haven't we? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm yeah, joking. Uh, we not... are we are the Office Blokes. A couple of other YouTube channels, Patreon page, social media, all that good stuff. Click the link in the description. It'll take you where you need to go, including this sexy merch. Mm, super. Nice. Sort it out. Right? Does time exist? Andrew Zimmerman Jones. That's a scientist's name, isn't it? Yeah. If ever I would guess one. so. Or a lawyer. <laughs> true. True. But does time exist? Yeah. Is it relative? Yeah. Yeah, I'll go with that. I'd agree. It's supposed to go, is it slower the higher up in the atmosphere you get? Time. I have no idea. I've heard some sciencey baffling thing about that where time is actually slower. Yeah, these, these the, are kind the of subjects. Away from Earth you get. These are kinds of subjects where I have no fucking interest in whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I look at me watch and go, right, it's three o'clock. What time's kick off? I need to know what time I need to be at the game for. What time kick off is? What time I need to be at work for? Yeah, and stuff like that. What, what time lunch time is? What time eleven a.m. is? Yeah. so you can drink after that. Yeah, <laughs> therefore time exists. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's a job done. <laughs> all right, fair enough. well, what, yeah. What time? What time's the pub closing? <laughs> who needs, left who who needs all that Einstein? Yeah. Eh? <laughs> Try this after twelve pints with the landlord. <laughs> time doesn't exist. Do you think I do that every time anyway? <laughs> yeah, probably. The earliest time measurements were observations of cycles of the natural world, using patterns of changes from day to night and season to season to build calendars. <coughs> More precise timekeeping, like sundials and mechanical clocks, eventually came along to put time in more convenient boxes. But what exactly is it that we're measuring? Is time something that physically exists? Or is it just in our heads? At first, the answer seems obvious. Of course time exists. It constantly unfolds all around us, and it's hard to imagine the universe without it. But our understanding of time started getting complicated thanks to Einstein. His theory of relativity tells us that time passes for everyone, but doesn't always pass at the same rate for people in different situations, like those traveling close to the speed of light or orbiting a supermassive black hole. Einstein resolved the malleability of time by combining it with space to define space-time, which can bend but behaves in consistent, predictable ways. Uh -huh. oh. Einstein's theory seemed to confirm that time is woven into the very fabric of the universe. But there's a big question it didn't fully resolve. Why is it we can move through space in any direction, but through time in only one? No matter what we do, the past is always stubbornly behind us. This is called the arrow of time. When a drop of food coloring is dropped into a glass of water, we instinctively know that the coloring will drift out from the drop, eventually filling the glass. Imagine watching the opposite happen. Here, we'd recognize time as unfolding backwards. We live in a universe where the food coloring spreads out in the water, not a universe where it collects together. In physics, this is described by the second law of thermodynamics, which says that systems will gain disorder <laughs> or entropy over time. I can't just skip the first one. Already. It's lost me. <laughs> <laughs> I the first one, yeah. Yeah. I, I'm going to do a science after this. I don't know what, but I'm going to do some science. I'm just going to get a couple, kettle. cup of water and put <laughs> yeah, some food yeah. colouring in it and go, hmm, science. Yeah, yeah. 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 If you put oil in it, then that sticks together, doesn't it? I don't know. <laughs> Floats to the top. That's quite a high yeah. level for me, to be fair. <laughs> Systems in our universe move from order to disorder, and it is that property of the universe that defines the direction of time's arrow. So if time is such a fundamental property, it should be in our most fundamental equations describing the universe, right? We currently have two sets of equations that govern mm. physics. General relativity describes the behavior of very large things, while quantum physics explains the very small. One of the biggest goals in theoretical physics over the last half century has been reconciling the two into one fundamental theory of everything. 
There have been many attempts, none yet proven, and they treat time in different ways. Oddly enough, one contender called the Wheeler-DeWitt equation doesn't include time at all. Like all current theories of everything, that equation is speculative. But as a thought experiment, if it or a similarly time-starved equation turned out to be true, would that mean that time doesn't exist at the most fundamental level? Could time just be some sort of illusion generated by the limitations of the way we perceive the universe? We don't yet know. But maybe that's the wrong way of thinking about it. Instead of asking if time exists as a fundamental property, maybe it could exist as an emergent one. Emergent properties are things that... Are you follow him? <coughs> no, I'm fucking well, well off. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens when you wing it on reaction videos. You mm. don't do any research. <laughs> I have no idea what he's on about. Yeah, <laughs> I'm enjoying. Not really, no. I'm enjoying the collection of words. The video's quite. <laughs> no, I quite like the video and everything. I'm just. You know, I'm but, thinking in my head. I'm watching this. Who gives a shit? <laughs> right. Well, do you remember when I said that? I, I think really high level physicists that are working on things like this just make it up because <clears throat> we can't disprove it. We Can you imagine being sat in a booth? Can't prove or disprove it. it. Imagine being sat in a pub there and some guy starts talking this. Time would slow just, down and he'd, he'd prove his point that time's just a construct. You do that, Kevin, <laughs> no, Kevin, Kevin Bridges, when we did that skit where you get the whole guy who just taps him on the shoulder and goes, Enjoy your night, mate. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what yeah. you do, wouldn't you? Yeah. Enjoy your night, mate. <laughs> I, I wouldn't even give him that, to be fair. I just go, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't exist in individual pieces of a system, but do exist for the system as a whole. Each individual water molecule doesn't have a tide, but the whole ocean does. A movie creates change through time by using a series of still images that appear to have a fluid, continuous change between them. Flipping through the images fast enough, our brains perceive the passage of time from the sequence of still images. No individual frame of the movie changes or contains the passage of time, but it's a property that comes out of how the pieces are strung together. The movement is real, yet also no, I am an baffled. illusion. Could the physics of time somehow be a similar illusion? Physicists are still exploring these and other questions, so we're far from a complete explanation, at least for the moment. If time does exist, you'll probably want a brief history of it. Explore more of the fundamental <coughs> questions of our existence. I thought he was going to answer it in five minutes. I thought yeah. we were going to do all the science and get all the knowledge. I'm no better off than when we started watching it, to be honest. <laughs> no idea hey. what that was about. <laughs> I'm more confused, if anything. I, I needed a better example, what he was on about, yeah. rather than the, the movies thing. Yeah, I couldn't quite grasp what he was getting at there, really. You know, when, uh, <laughs> when I was at uni, part of the course was studying acoustics, and we went straight into it, and obviously that's physics, and it's not really my yeah. thing. And the lesson number one was like that. The, there was no introduction, there was no points of reference, there was nothing, and everyone was just sat there going, what are you talking about? And the teacher kept getting frustrated with everyone going. Yeah. Up. He he would. I think he was a physics teacher, and we were all musicians and bums <laughs> yeah. that wanted to record music. <laughs> bums. Yeah. And but he thought he's teaching sort of proper physics, and we all thought we're going there to learn sound recording yeah. and stuff. And there was just this clash where he explained everything like that. Didn't have a clue. So he's just basically doing all the really technical technicalities oh of it rather yeah. than just the practical which is what basically you wanted yeah which I mean it is an element of physics acoustics so it is a complicated mm. thing yes yeah, to why you get certain sounds I can yeah. get why you have to explain it to a certain extent but but the way you taught mm. it was like that video where, where you're kind of just going I don't even understand what you're trying to explain yeah, yeah. to me I'd been right out the door I don't know what the question is mm. yeah. I, I stopped going after a while <laughs> after about 20 minutes <laughs> yeah, I'd have made this for me I think I'm in the wrong lesson <laughs> Anyway, yeah, definitely. Yeah. I had no idea what that was about. No, it, is, it lost me that one. I think a bit. I think it was interesting. <laughs> it was sort of interesting. I'd like to say quite like the video actually. The way yeah. it's put together oh, but, pictures, uh, pictures. Yeah, <laughs> sort of got lost in the moment. And yeah. but yeah, the actual uh, content. Yeah, not so sure, not so sure. Mm. Anyway, hope you guys. <laughs> it's worth a go. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the bell, and we'll catch you on the next one. Cheers, guys. Cheers.